Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. I want to actually talk about in this video, which I'm going to do today, which I hope you like. And if you like it, I hope that you will like it. And if you um, haven't subscribed, I hope you will subscribe. And uh, I thank you very much in advance for watching. But this video today, what this is going to be about is all, all the cases uh, involving Trump. Um, it seems like those defendants, their attorneys are filing motion after motion in various uh, cases in various parts of the country. And it's like a slow realization that you're drowning if you think about it let's say you went down uh, in a in a in a boat and it's broken into pieces and none of them are particularly good at floating and will keep you up but you're and you don't swim or you're exhausted so you're grabbing at each piece and just before it finally gets waterlogged and sinks you find another piece and you grab onto that but the thing is is those pieces are getting further away and there's less of them and it's obvious that there's nothing you can do in the state that you're in to survive the situation of eventually drowning you're exhausted these pieces are not going to support you forever there will be a time when you will just have to let go and go down and that's what i think is happening so we're going to do a reading on that for all of the cases like i said i hope you like the video if you like the video please do like the video if you have subscribed please do subscribe and thank you very much for watching so we'll see what the cards uh, are able to tell us about this situation just see how the story unfolds um because that is what seems to me is happening that the end is nigh the end is near and uh, it's just a matter of time before all the stalling and all the but it's a matter of a long period of time this is going to take because once all those motions fail then we finally start the trial and then during the trial there will be lots of interruptions and decisions that have to be made and uh, so you know don't expect that any of this is going to happen particularly fast but um but that it all is going to have a pretty predictable uh, not happy uh uh conclusion for uh these people um now maybe there's some of them who managed to sneak squeak out or sneak out because of their lack of direct involvement and their willingness to let people know about that uh, up front but uh, a lot of them just like all the January 6th people to this point, the guy just got 22 years at Enrique Tarrio. So the Trump involved situations around the country. Uh, what can the cards tell us about that? But before we do any of that, let's have just a moment of meditation. Okay, and I realize uh, there's background noise. The I live in a, a community where people come around and do gardening uh, for the community and the windows right here and they're here now um, cutting grass and trimming. And so you'll hear lawnmowers and motor noises and that's what that is, sorry. But, um, so let's see, what can the cards tell us in about everything, everything? Tell us the story. Uh, this will be obviously a full Celtic cross, so six cards and then I'll draw another four near the end. Um, remember, I'm going to talk about these cards more at the end of the video, um, just because I this is something I would have appreciated when I was uh, just being a viewer. Uh, I don't get paid for talking about the cards. Uh, if you buy them, nothing comes back to me at this point anyway. And um, they're just what I wanted to see. All of this is just what I wanted to see when I was just being a viewer. Uh, so the signifier card for everything that Trump's involved with uh, criminally, um, whether it be federally or, uh, or or civilly, and the people with him. So the star card, he is the star. It's all about him, about Trump. 
What's the challenge to that? The challenge <laughs> is the fact that it is him and he thinks that he's in charge. He thinks he's the emperor, emperor, when in fact he was only the star. And this is literally, I mean, he became a worldwide figure to everyday people because of the television presence that he had for so long. And so he is the star. That's a fact. Uh, he believes he's the emperor, and in many ways he's functioned that way in his business situations and his personal life. But that's the challenge to him being the star, is him wanting to be the emperor. What's the basis of all of this? Remember, I'm trying to get to some sort of explanation about how all of this is going to end, I think. The basis of all this is justice. Man. <laughs> Tell me the cards aren't uh, playing the game with me. So justice. So you can see Lady Justice here in particular, okay, is standing up and saying, no, I am the basis of all of this, Mr. Star, Mr. Wannabe Emperor. Justice uh, will be the ba basis and will prevail. In the past of this theme is uh, the abuse of power, the Five of Swords. You know, Swords are truth, justice, rules of law. The Five of Swords is typically read as simply one line and abuse of power. And um, so how is it shown here in this uh, card to give this a little more depth? Because these have been very evident and self-evident and self-explanatory. But this one, for a little more interpretation, an abuse of power. So we've got a fire burning here, truth, justice, rules, and law. Three of these items are on the ground here. A couple of them have been picked up by this person and seems to be chasing off the wolves. Chasing, and he's got this little fire in front of him to protect him. Um, this is Trump. This is in the past, but I want to tell you what you can know about this card in this in, in the case of all these Okay, how many cases are there because there's five swords here. Are there five cases? Um, hmm. So um, What's happened here is this person has chased the wolves off, but what do we know about wolves? They won't quit They're very patient. Okay at some point this fire is going to go out There's nothing else around it to fuel it at some point He's going to become exhausted. They're going to get to a point where they'll nip at him. And one or two of them might get hurt in, in, in the situation. But the, the pack won't give up. And they will eventually feed on this person, this meal, their survival. But that's in the past. It's already decided. Okay? This is a, a, a telling you what, this is karma. This is happening. This is, is done. We're just waiting for it to unfold in front of us. In the sky of this is whew, what I just said, death. The end. The definite end of a cycle. Now to take it a step further, we, can we think of this as Trump's actual death? That this will haunt him. This will be with him until his very last breath. Maybe uh, we don't get the kind of justice we want. Maybe we just get the end of him. The um, likely outcome, though, of all of this is the Three of Swords is a broken heart. Swords, truth, justice, rules, law, broken heart. This has been a Trump-focused reading uh, it, by its nature, the way it's come out, and this broken heart is his. He will go to his grave sooner or later, uh, understanding eventually that everything he tried to uh, uh, become or be or be in charge of in his life, in his whole existence, will be just a horrifying note on history. And uh, he won't be the emperor that he, uh, or at least not the kind of emperor he thinks that he should be, yeah, or should be remembered as. The um, last four cards uh, for everything legally about Trump, the uh, very self of that question, uh, is right here strength strength you know in, in so many ways and for all the parties involved he has the strength to sit there and take it and fight he will never stop he will never stop he will never give up he will never stop but also lady justice has that same energy but she's very comfortable with it she's settled into her power she knows that she can tame the beast Okay, so she's not um, suffering uh, about it. Lady Justice has the innate strength to uh, just wait till this all settles. Um, the uh, environment that uh, this is in, though, 
is the queen of wands. So the, the feminine uh, energy of actions being taken with a very sturdy face and a solid uh, stance as far as she is occupying this queenly space. And uh, so that's the environment that this strength is in. And that's part of why it has such strength. The um, hopes and the fears for all of this is, oof, the Ten of Swords and just what I told you, exactly what I told you. Those wolves have come back, okay? And, uh, and this is the end. And, and, and now they're going to enjoy um, the, uh, the fruit of their labor. Look at that. Look at that. So that's the fear for Trump. And that's our hope. Justice is hope and uh, Trump's fear. And then the final outcome for the whole thing, I'll take it from here, I think, is through celebrations. Uh, cups are emotional, compassionate. And look, this is a, a, a representative of all the communities here. You've got uh, uh, young, uh, you've got uh, men, you've got uh, older, um, you have everything. So the likely outcome of all of this is just, um, Justice is victory. That's what it is. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So Modern Spellcasters Tarot. Melanie Marquis with il illustrations by uh, Scott Murphy. Beautiful cards. I mean, they come in a really nice box with that magnetic uh, catch that's embedded in the inside the, uh, the box itself. And uh, the uh, guidebook is very useful. Um, it doesn't... You know, the pictures are nice. It's a full color guidebook. And um, the descriptions here, they are, in fact, very useful in, di in dividing the cards. So I have to say, even for the price of the cards, just because you got this guidebook, this is worth the price of admission right here. The cards are, in, are very nice. They're useful. They're a familiar size of card to use. And they're quality on the back and on the front. And you're going to see that this artwork goes right to the edge of the cards and uh, it's intuitive. They're right on the money with the Rider weight system, and um, they're just fun cards to use, and they f and they feel good. And uh, then, um, so if these, uh, if you're kind of into uh, spell casting, or even even if you're not actually, um, these cards are um, very nice to use. So that's the Spellcasters Tarot, Melanie Marquis, and Scott Murphy. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again, so ciao for now.